the clock hour, we want to get you to some breaking news happening right now. Protesters have taken over downtown Atlanta, upset after a deadly shooting near a future Atlanta police training facility. Thanks so much for joining us. A very active six o'clock hour here. I'm Eric Perry, an activist protesting what some call Cop City was killed in a raid and state trooper was injured. Demonstrators taking underground Atlanta to honor their friend killed and they're protesting building the facility. Fox 5's Tyler Finger live downtown. Okay, Tyler, within the last 10 minutes, we saw flashbangs. We saw windows burst. What are you seeing there now? Very active there. Yeah, hey, Eric, good evening to you. Very active, as you said. If you take a look down the street, we're pushing in. That is the group of protesters who are marching on Peachtree Street in downtown Atlanta. They've been setting off fireworks. They've also uh, been vehicles and police cars. If you follow me over here, this is an APD vehicle that has windows smashed, uh, multiple windows destroyed on this vehicle. They set off fireworks here. And if you'll take a look behind me over here, you'll see more. Yeah, driving under it does. As you uh, try to calm the situation, for the most part, they have let the protesters uh, just march through the streets. They are, again, setting off more fireworks uh, right now. This was a very largely peaceful protest at Underground Atlanta as they started the march. That's when uh, things started to uh, take a little bit of a turn. And if my photographer turns to his left real quick, you'll see there's some APD officers who have uh, helmets on as well as they're go now going uh, to try to, I guess, end this protest. All of this, the result of uh, what happened on Wednesday in uh, over at the future site of the Atlanta Police Training Facility over in DeKalb County. Uh, lots of different uh, situations unfolding now as a result of that, uh, resulted in the death of a... Uh... Hey, can you guys hear us? State trooper was injured in a shooting, and if you're taking a look at video now, I can hear it in my ear. Uh, that is just some of the moments that you could see that uh, protesters are throwing bricks at what I believe to be the Atlanta Police, uh, the Atlanta Police Foundation. Um, the Atlanta. Oh, hey, turn around. Can we go back? Someone actually. It looks like one of the Atlanta Police. I mean, back up their claims. Right. Oh, well, I mean, you know, I'll be frank about it. The police lie. Um, they've lied, you know, time and time again. Um, so I think, you know, we need transparency. All right. Of course, this okay. is a breaking situation. Tyler, are you there? Can you hear us? I know a lot going on there. We want yeah. to make sure you're OK. What's going on behind you? Walk us through it. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, the Atlanta police officer is trying to put out the fire of one of the police cars. I'm not sure how that fire got started, if it was set or if when all the damage... Uh, when all the damage was happening, uh, but they're trying to put the vehicle out. It's one of the APD SUVs. A marked unit was set on fire, it appears, um, and now uh, units are trying to put that down, uh, put that out. And you just heard from a moment ago, and we lost our service. We want to back up. We want to back up. If we're going to back up here just because, obviously, we don't know if a vehicle, uh, something uh, could happen uh, with that because the fire is getting worse. Um, but right now, again, a very active situation here. Uh, as, uh, yeah, the car is actually getting even, yeah. uh, g going up in flames even more. Uh, the actual police officer at? was trying hey. to put it out. We're at Andrew Young Interna uh, International and Peachtree Street in downtown Atlanta. Uh, I believe that, yeah, this is still downtown Atlanta. Um, but they are now marching way up the street as they're moving uh, further up north. Um, again, all these protesters are out here, or at least the initial demonstration, that's what they called it at 5 o'clock, uh, was a demonstration after what happened on Wednesday at the, the Atlanta Police Training Program. Okay. That smoke uh, taking over downtown Atlanta here uh, from that police car uh, that was on fire. It's like that car now, or that vehicle engulfed in flames. Do you want to come this way? Let's just get further away from this. Cause and Tyler, I know there's okay. a lot happening behind okay. you.
saw you're doing that, just kind of giving people who are just now joining us at the six o'clock hour, this was originally a protest uh, that was supposed to be for those against what has now been labeled by many as Cop City after we saw the shooting last week. And then they started at underground Atlanta and you can just see downtown Atlanta. This is a Saturday night, a very busy street. You can see a lot of police activity happening right through here. This is a live look that we're taking you right now. You can see people running in opposite directions and you on see, the other yeah, side Eric, of that. Yeah, Tyler, go I ahead. do want to... Yeah, yeah, we're far enough away. You'll see the officer right there with APD. He has uh, what appears to be zip ties. Uh, we're not for far enough down where we can't see if they've taken anyone into custody, but it did appear that they were ready to do that uh, to try to uh, try to calm the situation that's unfolding here. And as you said, this really a protest initially to try to uh, protest what happened on Wednesday here where, uh, I mean, they were handing out that vehicle still uh, up in flames here over at the at Andrew Young and Peachtree. And if you take a look over here, if you pan over, I want to show you, this is what they were handing out at that protest. So it was a largely peaceful protest where they just wanted what they're calling justice uh, for to, to, uh, for to, 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 get, to, to get, uh, so sorry. Uh, he, just a guy. Uh, and right now now, uh, you'll see, basically, they want uh, justice for him after the shooting that happened uh, when the Atlanta police and the different law enforcement agencies were raiding uh, the forest over there to try to uh, uh, basically clear out the forest after everything that was going on, um, all related to this, uh, it was Entrenchment Creek Park. They're trying to clear the woods of activists camped out there protesting the site that they call Cop City. Uh, that's really what this was turning into into. It was a calm, uh, calm, peaceful protest, but it does appear uh, it started uh, at about just up the street over on Peachtree when they started taking bricks and throwing them at windows uh, into one of the buildings. They shattered that. I believe we have video of that. If we want to go to that real quick, if our producer in our control room can go to that, uh, you'll see that they were throwing uh, uh, bricks at the windows, shattering multiple uh, windows there, and then setting off fireworks. Um, and so, uh, now it's still a very active scene. APD out here in force. I, I'm not sure if the protest has completely uh, wrapped up yet. Uh, we have lost sight of them at this point. We were trying to stay our distance back for safety reasons, especially when they started lighting off fireworks um, and also uh, a lot of different... Um, I mean, they were throwing bricks and lighting off fireworks in this area um, and also having flares as well out here. Again, we're all watching this police car right now at the intersection of Andrew Young and Peachtree Street uh, again still on fire uh, I do see a, a chopper up over up overhead right now not sure if that is a police helicopter that's monitoring the situation here in uh, downtown Atlanta but a lot for pretty much the entire time we got here at about 430 this afternoon to underground Atlanta very calm situation and then it started building and then about 200 to maybe 250 people were there when they started marching through the streets heading north towards Midtown and then the situation really started deteriorating from there uh, and then got out of control when bricks started becoming thrown we saw people spray painting stop cop city that is what protesters are uh, call the proposed training facility at uh, at uh, entrenchment Creek Park that APD uh, was uh, that the city of Atlanta was trying is trying to build uh, there and that's what has a lot of protesters upset they say they just don't want it and it's not necessary you can probably hear the sounds of sirens that fire department now arriving as that APD vehicle is uh, still burning uh, probably at this point for about 10 minutes or so, or maybe a little less than 10 minutes. Uh, oh, and one of the tires just blew yeah. on that vehicle. Uh, again, we cannot see the actual protesters down the street, but still a very active scene in downtown Atlanta. Eric, uh, it, it again started as a largely peaceful protest, actually a, very, a completely peaceful protest. They wanted uh, what they called justice for their friend who was killed at the park on Wednesday morning as law enforcement raided the park to clear out activists. Unfortunately, um, a person was killed. According to the GBI, they told us yesterday that um, the person who was shot and killed opened fire on a um, on one of the state troopers. That's when the troopers returned, for killing him. The trooper, the state trooper who was um, the state trooper. Right now, police are now screaming to the road, trying to keep this. Um, but Okay, Tyler. Um, the GVI, they said that 
Hey, Tyler, I want to jump yeah, in ahead, just for a second. For a couple of seconds ago, we had a double screen. So on your left, you saw when things took a turn, you saw people smashing windows. I see Atlanta police there. And to give a context, this is near, like you said, Andrew Young and Peachtree Street. This is right outside of the Westin on Peachtree Plaza, a very, very busy area, especially for a Saturday night here. So a lot of people and a lot of action happened here, but this is also a very popular hotel, and you see a lot of activity happening there. I do want to ask you a question. We saw a lot of scooters in the uh, roadway there. We saw a lot of debris there. Is this where all of the activity kind of took a left turn? Is this where really things started to happen? Did people start running there? We just see things left in the road. Yeah, so just across from the West End, so we're on the other side of that intersection. So just across from the West End, essentially, was where uh, the situation really took a turn. Uh, and we believe that is the location, that building, which things started taking a turn when the fireworks started going off and people were throwing bricks at windows. We believe that to be the Atlanta Police Foundation, uh, where they are housed inside. Security was inside that building, uh, but they uh, let the situation unfold. Uh, no one entered the building, but they did, again, throw um, bricks and then started throwing um, fireworks as those were exploding in downtown Atlanta. Um, it doesn't appear anyone has been injured at this point. I do want to make sure I point that out. I mentioned this. I did reach out to Atlanta before all of this um, happened just to see what their kind of response was going to be today, knowing that there was going to be a demonstration in downtown Atlanta. They did send me a statement at about 4.45 this afternoon. I want to read that for you. They said the Atlanta Police Department is aware of the events and they're continuing to monitor them. They stand ready to respond to demonstrations to ensure the safety of those in our communities and those exercising their First Amendment right or to address illegal activity should the need arise. Uh, and for the most part, we did not see pretty much any police officers really during throughout the demonstration and as they were marching up the street here in downtown Atlanta that really all changed as the situation really took a turn uh, when they started throwing the bricks at the window at the building just up the street uh, probably about maybe about 200 300 yards away from me but we do see a heck of a lot of police lights now in downtown Atlanta they have pretty much closed the road here on Peachtree and I can still hear that police helicopter up above uh, so a very active situation here. Um, we, I, I do want to point out, we are staying safe. We are trying to stay away from a, a decent distance away from the protests. And I'm not sure if the uh, protesters are still marching through the streets. Um, but again, uh, it does appear that the fire department has gotten the police vehicle out. I do see at least two or three vehicles um, have actually had resulted in some sort of uh, some sort of damage to it. And I do see more police arriving right behind me. Uh, three more, actually, Georgia State Patrol, Fulton County Sheriff, and another Fulton County Sheriff vehicle arriving. Uh, so they are bringing in a lot of officers here to try to uh, calm the situation. But there is still uh, a very active situation here in downtown Atlanta as uh, protesters taking to the street. And again, what was a very peaceful demonstration for about, an, about maybe about 45 minutes as they started marching. That's when things uh, quickly took a a quarter of a mile away from underground Atlanta and things really did take a turn when uh, I think the first thing we saw was the people throwing bricks that was really the moment uh, the situation kind of just got out of control um, and they were and it was not just one person it was multiple people uh, throwing bricks at one building shattering pretty much every front window of that and then uh, setting off fireworks and then when they got to some police cars who were uh, down the street a little bit further that is where we saw uh, the situation at escalate even further when they started going after Atlanta police vehicles. Again, more fireworks, and then the, they continued on. The protesters continued on marching down the street. Um, again, as all of this uh, now where we are at about uh, 6, uh, 14, 6.13, uh, for about 15 or so minutes now, uh, probably about 20, 25 minutes, uh, the situation did become uh, a little uh, volatile uh, as this uh, the protesters were taking to the street, Eric. And all right, Tyler Fingered, we will continue our coverage as things unfold in downtown Atlanta. Tyler Fingered, we'll be right back after a quick break.